you have four options. That's another word you don't like. It's part of this. So you'll be involved if you're successful, which I feel very strongly about for additional years, and in between times, you can make pictures. Oh, God. That isn't going to leave me very much time to be at home. I also have this terrible fear that, you know, if I commit and say yes, what then if it's ten times harder and more demanding than I'd ever imagined, and then I'll not be able to get out of it? Successfully, it could be a couple or three years or whatever, and that's kind of something we have to talk about. Well, obviously, you're thinking about it. You haven't just said no, so it must have some appeal somewhere. Well, it, it yes, it does, and it doesn't, you know. Well, maybe I ought to. Uh, just play the devil's advocate and, and uh, you know, let's weigh the issue. Uh, what appeals to you? Well, I suppose the chance to do a lot of different things, in one way it appeals a lot, and in another way I'm really doubtful that I want to get into that kind of really hard work, you know? It's hard work. The thing that bothers me about it is uh, family and you and how it will affect us and, our, you know, uh, whether you can manage with my being a kind of business lady. I haven't worked for, like, what, three years? And well, just been a mum until then, you know? It means also that uh, you won't have as much time to write your books. No, well, I'm hoping that, you know, I, I don't suppose, I have, don't feel like I've got another one in me just yet, although I hope there will be others, but, you know, if I could just get Wang Doodle finished, that would be kind of something out of the way and done with, you know. It'll take a lot of correcting and editing. But mostly, you know, can the children manage? Are they old enough? Um, what will it do to us? Well... I don't think it's going to do anything to us in a negative sense, because I think that uh, hopefully we're bright enough to to handle that one way or another. If you think in terms of quality and not quantity, it can work out fine. It works you mean out in for terms of time with the children. Yeah, yeah, it works out great for Carol. She's got a routine life that uh, gives her doors. plenty of time with the kids. Yes and uh, allows her to feel very rewarded creatively. Well, I think, you know, uh, at the beginning, it's going to be worse than it will be later on when we get into, into some kind of a routine. Mm-hmm. 
I'm glad we put the little short jackets on, too, especially for you in an evening dress. What's a nice girl like you doing in television? What's the matter with television? Nothing except it's a lot of work. Yes, it is. Yes. Blake and I were talking. It's not just my thinking only. In fact, we've done a lot of thinking and talking. Five or ten years from now, I'm not going to have the energy or the desire to do all the things I've always wanted to do in terms of work and all the songs I've always wanted to sing. And so I might as well go for bus now and try and enjoy it. And um, then maybe a few years from now, sit back and really relax and write the books I'd like to write and enjoy myself. Just as long as we get out of the beach every weekend. That's fine with me. Relax. Yeah. We're going to make a plan that weekends are going to be just for us and the family and that kind of thing. But you've never been uh, allergic to hard work. You started at a very tender age. No, I'm not allergic to it. Uh, in fact, uh, I'm inclined to be compulsive about it. I always sweat like a horse. Because do, do it here, but not on stage. <laughs> <laughs> right. How about knees? All right. It's touching your chin to your knee. One. And two. And three. Oh, one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Two. Six. they offer. Uh, I don't care how much it satisfies you in terms of being able to sing every week. It's not worth it. And the strain is going to be enormous. You know, see what they have to say. And don't decide to do that until somebody who is going to run the show, somebody, you know, like a Nick Van Off or somebody like that, who has the experience and who will understand your problems. Really knows what they're talking about. That's right. Yeah. Can convince you that you can come up with something that at least is a different enough to make it worthwhile. Well, I think I'll talk to Nick. You know, people keep asking me what the, what's the concept of the show. You know, what's the, what, what's going to be different about the show and and who's going to be on it. And I find these questions kind of difficult and so simple to answer at the same time. Well, go on. I don't think anyone's asking it. Who's going to be on my ship? Julie Andrews. That's the most important. What's the concept? Julie Andrews. <laughs> oh, God. Without Julie Andrews, we have no Julie Andrews hour. Yeah. Yes, I know that. But yeah. then they're going to say, yes, but what else are you going to do? Well, the thing is, what we're going to do is select the material that shows you off to your best advantage. <laughs> Five seconds flat, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. And then I entered a stand beside myself. <laughs> oh, gosh. Why? It's the galloping governor's herself. 
Just fly in your umbrella, or are you using a broom these days? Wash your hands and face, girl. Don't forget your mouth. What, cheek? How about a spoonful of sugar to help me fisk go right down? <laughs> <laughs> Very well, if you won't disappear, we will. Come, Julie. Oh, Poppins, you're not long. Eliza's left. Yeah, I see. Man. Poppins is I, Jack Julie. Hey, don't leave me here. Come back, I say, or I'm calling up Audrey Hepburn. Poppins. Listen, uh, can I just say something? Sure. I'm not too sure about the Audrey Hepburn. But it, will it sound like sour grapes, even with the gags? I mean, I will have fun with yes, it, and I... Want. And I don't, you know, I don't want her to. I really think so. Really? So maybe well, what can she do? No, oh, sorry. Well, what can she do, do for you that I can't? I taught her Cockney. I, I taught her to fly. I made her a star. I want her an Oscar. She's too old to play with dolls. <laughs> Ladies, please. Snob. Urchin. Saucy little baggage. Baggy little sausage. <laughs> old maid. <laughs> I'm going to have to brush up on my poppins because I've kind of forgotten, you know. No, no. no, no. Mm. Magic time! Ta-da! Oh, 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 it's only split. Let's go. Oh, he does! Yes. Idiot, I didn't even see it for a second. No, the dance is inside as well. We've got smoke coming out of it. Oh, terrific. It's, it, it's amazing. Yeah, it is amazing. You're not inside here, you cannot touch this. Right. I see. When it's controlled, right. it'll come up. Yeah. That's it. It's so comfortable, but that's the good thing. It is nice. Leave it. Oh, it's right. beautiful. Yeah, I see you walk. Oh, it's not too long. It's exactly and right. And you can put your little face. Exactly right. If you found that already, how our work television is. Yes. How are you going to combine that with being a mother or what? And I'm hoping that if I can be very, very firm about weekends and certain evenings of the week, with the children, for instance, um, when the children are at school and when I'm making a movie, we always unfailingly take them out on a Wednesday evening for dinner. That's our evening together. Um, when they're home, we always have tea in the afternoons together. We always have breakfast together. I think we can still manage those things. I think we can always manage to have our weekends together. If we're rigid about it and the children know that that's the way it's going to be, then I don't think they'll become anxious about my being away. And actually, when school begins again, they're not home till 3.30 anyway. And it will be a couple of hours after that that I'll get back from work, but it won't be too bad. I shall be sorry to leave. What about you on the beach tonight? No. Yeah. I'd love it. <laughs> okay, I'll ask again. What about you on the beach tonight? Yeah. No. You usually got a date or something? I've never known any young man, especially Jeff, wanted to get curly. I'm tired. Then you take a nice rest of time. No. <laughs> okay, very good on Oh, it's okay. No, 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 Jeff. If you're really that weird. Oh, I, I, I didn't suddenly. You feel like Bobby from oh, the beach? Oh, oh. <laughs> it's terrific, but the Good. sand is delicious. Yeah. I'm getting smothered. With what? Mustard. I need to eat this with an apple. The mustard matches my pants. And when she couldn't eat, she wore. God, that sand is good. <laughs> you know what's going to happen? When? Oh, it's not raining. Nope. No. The tide is going to come in. <laughs> and then below, we'll find ourselves in the transpack race. Hey, Ed! Come on, we're going to do a round. Blaine? Yeah? How do you get the other end of the marshmallow cooked? And go around the other side of the fire. <laughs> oh. Bless you. I think Jenny and I have both got the marshmallows stuck on the roof of my house. I thought it was so close. Look at Charles. Look at Jenny. Would you like to spit on my marshmallow again, Jack? Huh? You spit? Hey, Jenny, uh, darling, what was, what was the song that you two did? in uh, Ireland. Well, do it, would you? Huh? Okay. Come on over here, Jenny. Okay. Just don't set it too high, Jenny. Because I have the discount and it gets too high for me. <clears throat> here we are. Here. 
since he did it the first time out. Good boy. You've been a mother almost full time for the last two, three years. Mm -hmm. I'd like and to. Uh, now you're going to get a little bit of a vacation from that. And uh, how do your children feel about it? That's interesting. I think each child... Well, I'm not sure if each child has reacted differently. I was just going to say that each one has been different, but... But I know that Emma, who's our youngest, um, I think she's been the most anxious that I would be gone away. That I mean, you know, yeah, well, you know, uh, when I was most busy, she was quite young, and one of the best things about taking off for three years was that I was able to really spend time with her and really mm -hmm. cement a good relationship. And now here I am, suddenly getting very busy again, and she's anxious about that. I think Jeffrey, who's the middle boy, uh, is almost is a little unconsciously anxious, but I think he's old enough and mature enough to know why, and to also know that I'm not going to go, uh, that I'm really hopefully not going to stop being a mother. You know, it's harder to convince Emma of that, but Jeffrey can understand it. But I think Jenny, uh, who's 15 and a half, is kind of stimulated by it all. You know, it just might be exciting for her too. You know, and I hope she'll come sort of her, maybe get involved once in a while, come and watch. that you've written a book for your daughter. Uh, Would you tell us a little bit about Well, it's a story of a little girl and her search for happiness and, uh, uh, and, and a place for herself in life. And uh, as a matter of fact, I'm almost finished with a second book, which I hope will come out fairly soon. What is the name of the book? The first book is called Mandy. And the second one... <laughs> And the second book is called The Last of the Really Great Wine Doodles. <laughs> Sorry about that. Yeah. <laughs> I, I could, uh, look it up in your dictionary. It's there. <laughs> well, until this television show began, I've mostly been being a mum to the children. Uh, it sounds awfully corny, but I haven't been working. Uh, I've been writing, which I enjoy very much. It's a kind of discipline that makes me feel as though I'm working each day, but, and yet I don't have to leave the house or anything like that. As a matter of fact, I've just written my first song. Mm -hmm. Well, actually, I've written songs before, but this is the first time that I've built up enough courage to show one to anybody. I showed it to my very dear friend, Leslie Brickus. Just thematically, well, what's it supposed to do? Okay. What do you want it to be, darling? I mean, is it a, a theme, a general theme? For yes, I'd like show? it to be a theme. It should to have a kind of friendly feeling, something something that could stand by itself or be used as an ending to the show, you know? Mm -hmm. And uh, and you have to tell me if you don't like it. I mean, you have to be really straight with me, Leslie. Really straight with you, Jonathan. Okay, Because, uh, you know, please don't be too kind or anything. Just a little kind. Modest, please, ladies. Well, okay. I think I'm playing it very high, but this is the only key I can play it in. <clears throat> it goes... Poisoning the food and letting you know now that we have the only antidote. My wife has written a song. Ta-da! You have one? Yeah. Just a melody. That's where the great brick is. Now, uh, the thing being no. that I, I thought it would be nice to try to uh, write a song that, that would fit at the end of each show. You know how there's always a song that is played as a credit to the like that kind of thing. You want something that is, that is thematic, both to you? I'd like it to be something that isn't quite on the nose, that isn't really a goodbye song, but that, that, that can be sung as a balance. That is 
the worst thing I ever had. <laughs> <laughs> it's beautiful, honey. It's really very, very pretty. I love it. Oh, God. It's going to end to your talent. It's beautiful. Oh, dear. Well, I don't know. I see what you mean. I see what you want from it. Um, what, what sort of... Do you have any idea on what you wanted to say at all? Well, if it's used at the end of the show, it should either be something that says it, it's time to say goodbye or goodbye, but I'll see you soon. Julie, try one. And then, we, then they can all head back. Realize that we're doing a picture of you.
to go to I've been learning from Tony this morning, you know, uh, uh, steps that I never knew had names, like that that's funny little sideways jump is called a flea hop or something. Flea hop. Now, I never knew it was called a flea hop, and I've been I was saying, this, this goes, oh, well, we'll do a flea hop later, but we won't do that now. Hundreds of little expressions like that he kept coming up with, you know. I love when, when, when they can give a whole dance to each other, saying, here, you do that. Yeah. Can't be a ballet russe or French ballet term, can it? Flea hop, flea hop no, I think it's your average board of act. Do your little play with the, the flea. Huh? Okay. Oh, yes. Ladies and gentlemen, I have here on my hand the most remarkable flea. She's invisible, and her name is Priscilla. Priscilla dances. ta ta ti 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 Priscilla sings. Oh, solo mio, oh, solo you. One of the things that should be exploited in you is the side probably that your friends are more than the people. I mean, you know, that fun side of Jules, I think, would be smashing things, isn't it? I mean, there is a little man with whom Mr. Charlie Chaplin. <laughs> concentrate on that and I won't probably do my singing practice. Right now I'm getting in shape vocally because I know I'm going to be working on the television show. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.
Yeah, it's the lo it heads toward the lower part. That's right. Now I would sing more on the chest. Also, uh, Nelson, I, I haven't really started singing practice too much lately. And when I, you know, when I'm you not needed to sing, I don't work my voice out. But when I do have to sing, I mean, from now on, I'll be really, by the time we get to the actual mm -hmm. show, uh, you pull up and not get, I mean, everything keeps pulling up, do you know what I mean? Faster and higher. Yeah. <laughs> and right. you know that feeling too. Yeah, yeah, very, very. <laughs> so, um, it's funny, the wider the show is. I never, never think I can get when I'm rehearsing them, you know. You probably need to run your key down. Suddenly, you know, I could keep yeah. the mood. Look at the key here, we'll just see it. <laughs> Now. Oh, boy. 
จะเล่าแล้วอ Have you learned about the ratings game in television? Yes, I'm not going to think about it. <laughs> uh, I think uh, I'll let Nick worry about yes. it and uh, just try and have fun because I go crazy otherwise. Yeah. Numbers are the name of the game. Yes, good reviews don't seem to be the. Uh, no. I mean, a good review. You could have the best review and a terrible rating, and it, you know, out you go. Yes. You you haven't done much television, have you, or have you done any at all? I've done specials, but really not much. I mean, nothing like this, you know. Oh. And how do you think uh, you'll like it? <laughs> I'll let you know more about that later. I'm scared to death. I, I mean, when you think that, I guess I did Fair Lady on Broadway, well, just Fair Lady alone, I did uh. for uh, two years on Broadway. And I think I did like, in all, about 1,500 performances. And that, I mean, I could play Fair Lady for like 150 years, and that still wouldn't be as many people as were singing on yeah, that first show on television. True. And it's a scary thought. I, I guess the answer is I don't really know just yet. A lot of it's only trial and error. I don't even know what I might, I, I know what I'd like to try and come up with, which is, as, well, as much, uh, you know, have as much fun as I possibly can, because I think if I enjoy myself, then a lot of other people will too. And I really don't know just how far I can go in comedy, and I've done it within a specified role, but I've not done it on my own. And I think, you know, it's a terrible way to try out, but one tries out in front of a vast audience, and I guess I'll soon find out. Isn't that sort of a gamble, then? Horrible, yes. <laughs> I want to be happy, but I won't be happy till I make you happy too. Then your audience isn't going to be. Poppins! Ah, oh, there you are, Poppins! One more trick like that and I'll give you a blowout in your bustle! Please. Please. Billy, Billy. Right, Billy, is there any way of cheating that so she does that more in the camera? That's one that we're so side on, I know, and it would be great to get her head on on that, you know? <laughs> Down there, Diamond. Terrific. One more trick like that, and I'll give you a blowout in your bustle. Julie, yeah. can you take shorter steps? Yes. Let's hold it down, please. Some of us give us a break. Shorter steps? It's very hard to do like that. No, let's. Must I? No. Billy, she can strike, can't she? Take two. Oh, I know. Here we go. Standing by, Wiley. Five, four, three, two. Poppins! Aha! There you are, Poppins. One more trick like that, and I'll give you a blowout in your bustle. Clear, clear. That was great. Okay. What's your pleasure? All right. Now, once again, now, the wardrobe change to what? I think I'll bust a gut. All right. You strike the chimneys. You can go to the wardrobe for Julie. Julie. Sure. Can we please have Julie on this? Ben, 
I can't tell yet, but we'll know soon enough. Remain calm and remember what I told you earlier. Do exactly as I say. The party moved into the shelter of the tree. The sound came again, but louder this time. It really was a most dreadful noise, like a thousand bullfrogs croaking at once, or a million locusts swarming before an attack. What's a locust? A locust is, um, a, oh, a little tiny sort of, uh, almost like a grasshopper, and they swarm in their thousands. And good. Four. Oh. Two. Three. Let's turn. And one. And two. And three. And four. <laughs> We have a big full house out there. The writers are all there, too, so... We, 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 all right, I think we, we're, actually, we're running a little late anyway. I'm just going to say good evening, and your dear to turn off, and leave it at that. Nelson's about ready to play you on. All I have to do is just... Well, I won't do it. Drop my finger, and I'll play you on. Well, let Joe come in and just look at me, and okay. I'll come Rich has done some big impressions, so we'll set with him. Joe can tell me, because I didn't even go on. I don't know. He may have. Come on, Joe. The guy who hates a gimp, you know? I remember Jules Green once told me, he said, don't be nervous, it's only your career. So, uh, don't forget the first show is on the air September 13th at 10 o'clock on Channel 7. Seven. Seven. Okay? Okay, Seven. Wednesday night. You Following movie of the week on Wednesday night. The Wednesday night movie of the week. Here we go. Thanks, love. We'll see you on that stage. Will you? I'll, I'll, I'll take that I'm with catching you. your number 49 bus right now. Give my cue. Okay. Miss Julie Andrews. Julie Andrews. Broadway shows have all won Tony nominations. Her movies have won her an Oscar, and her television specials an Emmy. Now at last, she has a series of her own, starting in three weeks 
Judy Andrews sings, dances, and makes you laugh on the Judy Andrews Hour here on ABC. Yeah.